Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. In this episode we're going to look at how to choose the best indicator for a titration. This is topic 1.12 of the AQA A-level chemistry specification and it's paper one of your final exams. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel below so you don't miss out on the new videos. So an indicator is a chemical which changes colour in different pH solutions. They're often used to show when the end point of a titration is reached and if the correct indicator is chosen, the end point will be the same as the equivalence point. In my last video, we talked about the equivalence point on a pH curve, and this is the point when all the acid or base in the solution has been neutralized. Indicators are usually weak acids or bases, which show as different colors depending on whether they're in their neutral form, HA, or their ionized form, A-. Indicators don't change color on a single pH value, but instead change color over a pH range. And to ensure that we have the correct indicator for neutralization reaction, we want to select an indicator that has a range that is within the equivalence point. There are a wide range of indicators, and here are some of the indicators that you might see in exam questions. Thankfully, we don't need to remember the names, colours or pH ranges. We just need to be able to select the best indicator for a titration, given the information provided in the question. Selecting the correct indicator is a straightforward process, but requires looking at the information provided in an exam question. In this example, we've added a strong base to a solution of strong acid, and we're going to look at the suitability of different indicators. Alizar in yellow has a pH range of 10.1 to 12. This is high on the pH curve and misses the equivalence point. Phenol red has a pH range of 6.7 to 8.1, and this is across the equivalence point and would make a good indicator for this titration. Methyl orange has a pH range of 3.2 to 4.4, and this would be too low as it also misses the equivalence point. So in this situation, phenol red is the most suitable indicator. In this example, we're adding a strong base to a weak acid. Phenolphthalein has a range of pH 8 to 10, and it sits at the steepest part of the curve on the equivalence point. This makes it a suitable indicator for this titration. While methyl orange has a pH range of 3.2 to 4.4, and sits too low on the curve and away from the equivalence point, which makes it unsuitable for this titration. In the example of a strong acid being added to a weak base, thymol blue with a pH range of 8 to 9.7 is too high on the pH curve and misses the equivalence point. While methyl orange has a pH range of 3.2 to 4.4 and sits on the vertical part of the graph, just over the equivalence point. So this is the most suitable indicator in this case. As we've just learned, indicators are weak acids or in some cases weak bases. It's important that when we add an indicator solution to our samples in a titration, that we only add a few drops. Otherwise, we could alter the pH of the solution being tested. That's it for this episode of Bale's Chemistry. I hope you found it useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up below and thanks for watching.